Welcome back everybody, Titus here, Mid Valley Mercenaries, and today, another reaction video. So grab that popcorn, sit back on the couch, and enjoy this video with me. Today, we are doing Thomas's video from Virginia Outdoors Unlimited. Early goose hunting 2020, there were honkers everywhere. I remember this video, it was an incredible video, but it's been a while since I've seen it, so hopefully you guys enjoy it with me. If you do, give this video a thumbs up, and go check out Thomas's channel, Virginia Outdoors Unlimited. Pretty sure he's gonna catch me and pass me up here pretty soon on subscribers on YouTube. YouTube. But anyways, uh, let's get this video started. What's going on everybody? I'm Thomas and welcome to Virginia Outdoors Unlimited. Today is September the 5th, which means that it's opening day. Like the sombrero in the background. Virginia, one of my favorite days of the entire year, but it's right around 4 a.m. right now and we're not actually headed out to the dove field. We're headed out to the river to hopefully chase some geese and do something that I've never successfully done before, which is have a goose hunt on opening day of dove season. We've tried it a couple times and always got skunked. So hopefully we can change that luck today. I'm about to go meet up with Drew and Eli. We're going to go hit a stretch of river that none of us have ever floated before but I'm really excited to float the stretch of river because it looks really prime on the maps I have some friends who fish down there and they said they've been seeing geese all summer long and we've had pretty high water for about the first week of our Virginia goose season so I'm hoping that we're gonna be the first people floating down this stretch of river and hopefully these geese will be really stupid really unaware probably we'll will able, usually that's how it is that opening day on the river shots on them I do want to say this is not our preferred style of hunting if we had the means to set up decoys along this stretch of river, if we had the knowledge to do that, we would do that. But um, especially since none of us have ever been down here before, this is going to be partially a scout for us just to learn the stretch of river. And then also, you know, this is really the only way to hunt it the first time. But we're going to be taking things slow, trying to keep them safe. I know there is a little bit of rough water along this section of river, so we don't want to get ourselves in any dangerous situations. But hopefully we'll be getting some geese and then wrapping it up just in time for dove season. So stay tuned and hopefully we get on them. It's a pretty wide river. I mean, it looks like. What I would have did too is go around the side, try to sneak around on the river. The closer you can get, I think I could hear him. Hold on. The closer you can get without him seeing you, obviously, the better. Because float trips, you just surprise attack. Yeah. Around that corner, he's going to get a good shot. Oh no. Just left. What happened there? Did y'all get him? All right, guys, we got a pretty quick start to the morning. Uh, came down from the boat launch, and the first set of little islands that we went through, there were some geese there. Actually, a lot of geese, probably over a hundred and they were pretty skittish they flew off downstream before we ever really got close to them uh, but they kind of broke up and now they they were all flying around for like the past 15 or 20 minutes and some were trying to come back to the river they were just flying around so uh i think drew just got one a uh, flock flew up the channel sweet. and drew shot once so first shot of the morning one bird pretty good way to start the morning there's yeah. definitely plenty of geese down here that was pretty exciting and uh, we're just gonna continue on down river The old shot cam on. They come. Nice shot. Oh, you did. Nice. You gotta lead those big boys too. Smokes that one. Right, was behind that one. Okay, so I didn't know if he got that second one, but I think I the other guy must have. Up. 
<laughs> yeah. There you go. I was like, is there was there even pellets in that shell? Yeah, I know. Oh how yeah, it is. boys. First birds of the season. It's it's so funny to get. Oh yeah. Him. Do stuff you never do at the end of the season, as far as shooting goes. That's good. Three out of four. Diving on him. That water looks deep too. There he is. All right, I'm gonna have to shoot this one almost certainly. Yeah, honestly, that's a good call to back up and just shoot it because that got him. Yeah, I'd say you got him. I mean, but you have to do that though, otherwise you never you'd be playing that game and eventually just end up getting away from you probably. I know. All right, let's chill out, bud. There you go. That was pretty huh? awesome, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Got a couple nice ones. Sweet. That's fun. Look who's in it. It's just a good I view going down the river, one. too. Yeah, it don't really matter. We'll figure it all out. No, this is I've never seen ball. nowhere near as many as they're seeing it in our... Uh, I almost hit that one. Our river. That's never a, a bad sign on a river float. Okay. More down there too, it looks like. So hopefully we can find some in this boulder field. Get yourself in trouble. Those Discovery 119s are more stable than you think. I know there's some problem, but the sun was. Ah, uh, yeah, that sun's kill you. <sighs> yeah, that's right in the sun. That's hard to see. I mean, what you're seeing on the shotgun is probably what he was seeing. Ugh, sun screwed us on that one. Another bird down. This uh, kayak's gonna be getting pretty heavy there. Oh, there's number three on the day for me. When I took those three shots at that flock up there, I crippled him and he had been coming down. I'd been chasing him. He'd stayed like 60, 70 yards ahead of me. And finally he got down here to this slower move and stuff and I was able to catch up to him. But uh, there's been geese all through this whole boulder field here, which we kind of expected and we just honestly have executed this poorly. Um, when you get in these boulder fields, what you really want to do is try to split up and get people on different channels so that you guys don't all just push the birds down because you really want to get someone down below and then maybe them push them back up. Yeah, there is a tactic to hunt the river, that's for sure. Totally agree with Thomas on that, the way he's saying to do it. Nice shot. That was a great shot. And see, here's the thing. Geese are so big, so you think that you don't have to lead as much as you do because it looks like there. they're going slower, but it's only because they're way Probably bigger than ducks. Two, you still got to lead them just like ducks. They're moving a lot faster than you think. It's kind of hard to tell on that shotgun, really though, how far you let him. Can y'all fly or what? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come on, dude. Get a shell. 
Like he might have had one jam. Oh. See, yeah. I've had that happen. You think, well, these ducks aren't going to fly. It's just because yeah, they're stupid because it's fired. the beginning of season. If he would have had his gun out and ready, he probably would have got both those. And then he has Benelli click. That stinks. Well, good shot. At I least the other guy got one. There. I guess my gun just I've had that right. happen. Oh my goodness, I've had that happen what on the river. You're like, almost don't know if you want to shoot because they're, they're, you're getting so close and they're not flying. You're like, that was like maybe it's a pet duck or a park duck and I've ever then they seen. end up going and then you're scattering. He literally let me paddle 10 yards from him. Yeah. That's a decent sized oh. river. It's definitely... Got some good little looking little rapids spots in it. Get ready. Drew's gonna shoot and knock these down to us. So much tougher guys shooting out of a kayak while it's moving. Get ready! Reload! Reload! <laughs> so much tougher. Oh! If you're at the wrong angle, you can totally get yourself There goes up. more. Did you hear the pellets hit? Yeah. <laughs> I think he missed those all. Well, we finally got a break in the action for me to update y'all. Uh, we are now sitting on eight geese. We just came through about a two mile, probably two and a half mile stretch of boulder field and there's been geese pretty much all through it. I don't even know how many geese we've seen now, quite honestly. I have to say it's probably been 250, 300 plus. I mean, there's been wow. geese pretty much- Way more geese than I'll ever see in our rapids, river system. Or every rock or island we've come by. So uh, I got four, Drew has two, Eli has two, or no, Drew has three. Uh, and we probably should have a few more than that. I've had some poor shooting. I think Drew's had a little bit of poor shooting. Maybe Eli as well. Some really stupid residents along here too. So it's made it made a fun morning so far. We're about two thirds of the way through our float. It's like eight o'clock, nine o'clock. So we should be done pretty much just in time for opening day of dove season. So we're gonna keep on going down river and hopefully we find a few more geese. See him on the point? Wait, wait. All right, let's go. Get him, boys. Get him. Oh. Oh. Again? Oh, that's so frustrating. I've had it happen with certain shells. So we got one right there. Another one drops. And click right there. Oh, my goodness. I think four, yeah. I'm going down below. That is so frustrating. What'd he say? They, I think they knocked down more than those two birds because he might not, he might uh, have. There's one. Okay. I think that's number five on the day for me there. That's an incredible day. Well, we just got four more right there. They were sitting at the tip of that island and we came down and uh, dumb residents being dumb residents, they let us get about 30 yards, probably closer than that, probably 20 yards, and then flew straight back up towards us. Both me and Eli's guns jammed after the first shot or else I think we would have had all six. But uh, we dropped four. Oh. We're on 13, no, 12 geese now. <laughs> Gonna keep on they going did drop down. four. I think they both got doubled. Little that was, know, a good, we go that was a good. That was a good volley right there. More geese, so we have a couple more bends in the river, and hopefully we can get a few more. Let me get close. That's a tough angle to shoot at too, going backwards and shooting the other way. Uh, sorry about that.
This boat's getting heavy. And now I'm trying to sit here and think what their limit is. I thought maybe they're a high limit too, like us in California. He's got a lot of birds in the boat. Oh, coming right at him. Man, there's a lot of bees there. It's too high. They're lower. It's a hard shot. It's a hard angle in a cock if you're a right hand shooter. Or someone got one. But that's hard. If you're facing the way he was facing, try to go to right. You can only go so far to the right. I mean, he basically got one chance to shoot. Holy cow! That's awesome. They're getting all their birds. This should be a fun one. I do floats down the river, but I need to do a long one. That's a pretty good little rapid spot there. Like I said, those Old Town uh, Discovery 119s actually do a really good job. They feel a little bit... It's hard to explain because they feel like they tip. But you can't. You can literally jump in deep water into him, Come bend on. him all the way over the edge, and still not tip him. They're very stable. It just you get if you're not used to being in a kayak, it can give you that feeling. It does really well. It tracks really, really well, and it moves fast to the water too. Beautiful, beautiful spot in the river. Nice. Where? Oh. Is that one they shot? Or was that just a bird sneaking out? Uh, well, Eli and Drew just got another pair, so I think that is one of theirs. Okay. But I'll put him in my kayak for now. Alrighty guys, we are off the water now. It's about one o'clock. That's an so amazing need float. To do this pretty quick because we need to get out to the dove field. But we ended with 17 geese today. This was probably the best float that I've ever been on. Probably one of the better goose hunts I've ever been on. Uh, really did not know what to expect going into this, but this stretch of river really produced awesome, beautiful stretch of river. So we'll definitely be out there again. That's an incredible day for a river float. I mean, I don't know how many miles they floated, but that's a good day. Yeah, that's a really good day for three guys. If you enjoyed this video and you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate if you click that subscribe button. I post a ton of waterfowl content as well as other hunting content throughout the fall. So if you click that subscribe button, it'll make sure you don't miss out on any of my future videos. If you guys have any questions about anything we said or did in today's video, drop in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Hope everybody enjoyed today's video. Hope you all are staying safe and thanks for watching. Oh, that was a great video, Thomas. Really enjoyed watching that the first time I seen that. They, I mean, they just, they had it. That's an incredible day to go down the river. I've done the river trip and to get that many birds and be that successful, I, I think they did really well, especially that it was opening day and you're not as sharp on your shooting as you usually are. So that was a good hunt. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out his channel and check out all the other guys from the Flyways Collective. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys on the next one.